Are you ready to get in, sir? It is not ever be. Let's go. said that I honestly think that I would leave the car at home. Uh, I think the car has worked out a lot more expensive, but we made a couple of good points about that, didn't you? Yeah. I think a lot of it's been to do with the tolls that we've been running into, especially in Spain and Portugal. Those roads are expensive. Yeah, you're talking some, the most expensive toll that we paid was about 35 euro. This really highway robbery. <laughs> hey, if you hear a noise, it's sheep. <laughs> ah, you're having a great time, aren't you, sheep? Oh, what's that in there? Is that a bull or something? I think that's a goat. It's a goat? There's a few of them. Oh, there's goats as well. Oh, they smell real bad. The things you see on the mountain. Well, oh yeah, Mr. Grass, oh, multiple grasshoppers. Hey, Mr. Grasshopper. I was gonna say it was this one that I saw. Anyway, as we were saying, before I interlude the sheep, goats, and grasshoppers. <laughs> yeah, I think you make a good point. If you plan ahead enough, and you avoid tolls and stuff like that, you'll be fine. You'll save a lot more money and. Like the great thing about having a car is that you can, you have the ability to, to stay a bit further out of cities and then just bust in. It's more time. Like realistically, I haven't sat and like looked at the difference between getting trains and stuff would have been. It just feels a lot more expensive at this point. I know there's the option of getting the interrail pass around mm. Europe, but then you're kind of limited in terms of number of days you can travel and how long it's good for and so on. Either way, for us it's works out kind of pricey. Parking in big cities is a bit of pain in the absolute hole. Oh my god, driving in big cities is just a nightmare. Don't even do it guys. Just not even once. 
So tip number one was avoid tolls. Try and avoid tolls and plan ahead with your car if you're going to bring one. Um, I think my tip number two was going to be if you are, if you must visit anywhere in, uh, I don't know, Western, not Western, uh, Southern Europe, make sure you stay with places with aircon. It's just not worth it. The last two places we stayed in, one in Costa Brava and one at the bottom of France, they didn't even have fans. Like it was ridiculously awful. I know that they're cheap and I know that you'll be tempted, but just don't do it. It's been pretty bad. It's horrible. Stifling in the rooms. Yeah. So that's tip number two. Tip number three, if you're gonna drive a car around uh, Southern Europe, don't be like us. Get a car with fucking air conditioning. Just do it, please. It's not worth it. It's so bad. We've just had to drive everywhere with the windows right the way down, but see whenever the temperature outside is 39 degrees, there's only so far your car can cool down. And yeah, in a hot tin box. It's fucking shit, man. Absolute shit. Okay. So that's our three main tips so far. Oh, for fuck's sake, we went the wrong way. Right. So there's the chalet by the lake. And there's, yeah, there's lakes down there, isn't there? Can we get down there from here or do we have to go back? I think we could get down over there. Yeah. Okay. We got to take a detour because we went the wrong way. Give us a second to do this and then we'll think more about this. This is the last known footage from us. Tell you... my brother not to touch my shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know that we died on a slightly steep mound. Look, okay, we'll be fine. This is fine. Calm down. You can't have a shit, Adrian. Butterflies. Ruby's trying to capture them. Oh wow, they're so cool. Can you see them? Oh no. I flew away. It's okay guys, we've survived the downhill so far. Um, oh, I think that's like a little river trail. It's okay though, because I think all the sheep have made like natural little foot pockets. Yeah, and left their shit everywhere. <laughs> The thing I'm dreading, honestly, is ha doing proper editing. Like I've been doing my Instagram archive uploads for a while and they're very easy to do. And I know this is just gonna take more time and it's fine, like I, it's what I wanna do, but it will take more time. Okay, we're back on the trail, sweet. And we didn't die, wow. We were talking about booking stuff because like, I've backpacked around Australia and America before. And when I did it around America, I pretty much booked everything ahead of time. Because we had a large grip and we wanted to make sure that we had things booked. And it saved us a lot of money in the long run, like I think, including flights and buses and accommodation and everything else, it was like $750. Um, $650 before the other girls like just pissed around for a while making decisions. Ah, there's loads of poop here. This is not the right trail still. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can navigate this mud pile. Mud pile! Mud pile! So we can successfully navigate this shit show. <laughs> As I was saying, ooh, near died. Pray for me. <laughs> but when I went around Australia, I was by myself. And I kind of, I did book certain parts of it ahead of time, but there was a lot. I just winged it as it came and happened and like, that is definitely a way to travel. But for us, as a couple, around Europe, we've done a mix of that, I think. There's times, we've not really ever, well, we've mostly just booked a week ahead. At this point, we have up until we leave Europe booked, because it just makes sense at this point, and we're going into places that are pretty booked up. That's been part of the problem. What the fuck is in there? Hear yeah, those noises? Grasshoppers, I think. I don't know, but they are not happy. It's not. It's oh, maybe it is. Yeah, but it's a different kind of grasshopper. Mid, you make an angry fucking noise. I keep getting distracted by the wildlife up here. It's pretty cool. Oh. Part of the issue as well. Hang on. This ridge is fucking class, mate. 
Again, I don't know if we're on the right path, but I feel like we're not, but it's fine. <laughs> I was saying, saying part of the problem is I think we're traveling during the high season as well. Mm. The worst season. <laughs> Hence why everything seems to be booked and slightly more expensive. And yeah. And everything's always more expensive at the weekend. Um, so I was having to think about it and thinking about what I'd do differently. Because there's two of us, we kind of did a combination of booking things in Hostel World or via Airbnb. Because uh, sometimes getting an Airbnb would work out cheaper. Now, sometimes that's really nice, but um, the best part about traveling is meeting people, I think. One of the best bits anyway. And when you stay in an Airbnb, it kind of, it just doesn't happen the same way. Now, when we stayed in Airbnbs, we did, um, fuck me, I think that's the path down there. This one looks like it goes somewhere. Yeah, but do we not want to go to the chalet? Do we? Do we? Do we? Like, we find, we use meetup.com to meet up with, like, English-speaking groups or people that, you know, Spanish people or French people that were wanting to learn English. There's more Spanish people that want to learn English. I think what I would actually recommend is Hostel World has this option where you can pay a little extra and it gives you flexible like dates so you can cancel without losing your money. And that is like what I would do is maybe book stuff ahead of time and then if your plans change, which they invariably will, you can you can cancel or you can move dates or you can do whatever. But if your plans don't change, you can cancel that booking and then just rebook it without the flexible thing and save yourself a bit of extra money. So yeah, that's what I'd recommend. Was that tip number three or tip number four? Tip number four? I don't know, I've lost count. Oh mate, I'm the worst at this <laughs> shit. Oh. One of the reasons why we decided to bring a car is because we wanted to camp a whole bunch and that's not really happened because as it turns out, camping in Europe is fucking expensive. The majority of the time, it's cost exactly the same as a hostel would and sometimes more because they charge you for the space and then they charge you per person. So because there's two of us, it's just not worked out cheap at all. So I think unless you're gonna be camping like in the butt arse of nowhere, the camping thing just doesn't really work out. I think anyway. So that was tip number five, I think. <laughs> Maybe six. <laughs> Maybe, no, 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 it's definitely at least five, but it could be four. <laughs> I don't know, I lost track. I'm really bad at this. Let's just say it's five for shits and giggles. Let's talk about costs, I think. Um, things you should expect. France is way more expensive than Spain. And surprisingly, we find Portugal to be more expensive than Spain. Um, so just kind of be prepared for that. Nah, I'm gonna go this way. I don't know what way I'm going anymore. I don't know what I'm doing with my life, kids. It's fine. Existential crisis, initiate. Welcome to life. Welcome to life. Anyway, like for us to save money, we brought a cooler bag that we use for cold food with loads of freezer packs to keep them cool in between car journeys. Although if you have a car with aircon and aren't an idiot like us, you'll be fine. <sighs> We kind of pegged in our head that like, maybe once every couple of days we'd have a nice meal. And then the rest of the time we'd be making our own food. Now that's really not how it's worked out. We spent so much money in the first month on restaurants and stuff. I'm keeping a spreadsheet, obviously. Gotta feel like I got my shit together somehow, kids. Like, it's definitely harder with two people, I think, immediately. Um, and I think, but this part of our trip has had to be faster. So sometimes we're just too tired or we run out of time and then we just end up doing something easy and quick. And you know, a lot of the times it has been, oh, we'll just make ourselves sandwiches, but mate, you get sick of sandwiches after a while, you really do. Guys, we just thought of another tip that's an actual tip. So this is like tip number seven. <gasps> maybe, maybe it's six, I don't know. Because we have the car and we have the flexibility to kind of go wherever we want, one of the things that we did, you know, in the first month we were just, no, like we started doing it straight away where, you know, some of the hostels would be more expensive. And when we got into France, we were like, okay, we don't want to stay in Paris. Paris is just another city. 
we'll do a day trip there, but let's see if we can find somewhere outside of it. So instead, when you go to Hostel World, you can just type in the country. So we typed in France, and then we set the, we set it to only show us hostels. And when you scroll down, it gives you a map with a bunch of pins on it that shows you the locations of all the hostels in France. And honestly, that has, that's how we find this place. It's literally just going to Hostel World, <laughs> uh, typing in the country that you're in, specify hostels and your dates, obviously. And then just clicking on the pins and, and having a look at what's inside and see what you find. Like we've found some cracker places that way. Um, we stayed in a place called Fontainebleau, uh, which was about an hour outside of Paris uh, via that way. We find this place. Um, Ruben, is there any other places we find that way? Uh, in Germany, actually. Hel Helberg. Uh, Helberg yeah, we're going to be staying in a place called Helleberg. Hel Helleberg? Helleberg? Helleberg. Helleberg. <laughs> I'm so terribly English tongue. If that makes sense. <laughs> I do a language as well. Mm, I do language. Mm. Final extra bonus tip. That's how you find random little places like this that are just fucking gorgeous with loads of shit to do and cheap as chips. Boom. That's a good place to end it. Like that's enough tips for today. Uh, maybe we'll think of more. Like, I don't know if anyone's actually gonna watch this video, but if you do and you have questions, please let us know. I'm hoping that these videos will get better. <laughs> over time especially whenever I get my better equipment when it arrives but you know what they say you might as well just start now um but I do hope that the audio isn't too harsh on the ears oh. our next plans are we're here then we're going to Switzerland then we're going to be in Germany we're going to be at Gamescom uh and then we pop home for a little bit and then we're heading to Japan and we're going to be traveling around Asia so that's pretty cool. So, see you in the next video. Cutie out! Are you waiting for me to say something? He doesn't have an outro. There's a family in the lady with guys. It's pretty beautiful. I lied, guys. This is the last scene I'm gonna leave you with. <laughs>